To ripen fruit faster, you will need a few things. First, the fruit you want to ripen faster. In this experiment, I will be using persimmons. Second, get a brown paper bag. And third, get additional fruit that is also ripening. I'll be using bananas and apples. Use fruit and not vegetables when ripening fruit. Fruit emits off more ethylene gas than vegetables. And mixing some fruit with vegetables can cause it to ripen too fast and spoil. Like leafy greens that lose its chlorophyll, turning yellow or brown. When you have decided on what fruit you will be using for this experiment, Leave some fruit left aside to ripen by themselves, so you can compare it with the ones that ripen faster afterwards. I have extra persimmons that I will be leaving out to compare the ripeness after the experiment. Once you have all of your supplies and ready to start, open up the paper bag and place the fruit you are ripening faster inside. I use the glass food storage container to place the persimmons inside, because as persimmons ripen they can get soft and mushy and their juice can seep through the bottom of the paper bag. So placing the fruit on a dish or container is a great idea. Once you have placed the fruit you are ripening fast in the paper bag, place your secondary fruit on top of the main fruit that is ripening faster. So I'll be placing the bananas and apples on top and around the persimmons. The more fruit the better because it will release more ethylene gas. But don't overdo it to where the bag rips or you can't close it. Once all the fruit is in the paper bag, seal the bag airtight. I just folded the top of the paper bag down a few times and it's sealed tight. Leave the bag to sit for 4 days in a safe area where it won't be opened or get knocked over and ripped. What will happen is that all the fruit will release a plant hormone called ethylene gas as it ripens and the ethylene gas will be contained within the bag that will build up and circulate around in the bag speeding up the ripening process. Grocery stores use a similar process, but they use artificial ethylene gas. This is why some store-bought fruit like apples, oranges, and tomatoes look so perfect. It's because they are picked before ripe and artificially ripened with ethylene gas, so they don't spoil too fast while being displayed in stores for customers. After it has been 4 days, take the fruit out of the bag and enjoy. I was pretty surprised on how fast these persimmons ripened, compared to the persimmons that were set aside out of the bag and were already slowly ripening for a week and a half. Persimmons usually take a while to ripe. One time I waited like a month for them to fully ripen. There are two main types of persimmons. The fuyu that is sweet and not astringent and can be eaten before it's fully ripe, while still a little firm. It's also orange, has a texture like an apple, and is shaped like a tomato. The other type is a hachia persimmon. These were the persimmons that I used for this experiment. It is astringent and has to be fully ripe and soft before it can be eaten. If you were to eat a hachia persimmon before it was ripe, it will be pretty bitter. The texture is hard when unripe, but softens as it ripens. Hachia persimmons take longer to ripe than Fuyu persimmons, but once ripe they are very sweet. Comparing the persimmons that ripened in the bag to the ones that ripened outside on the table, you can see a clear difference in texture. The persimmons that were in the bag were softer and had a jelly-like texture, compared to the persimmons that were out, that were a little more harder. Although some of the persimmons that were left out slightly ripened, but not ripe enough to eat. If you do this experiment and notice after 4 days that your fruit hasn't ripened, you can leave it in the paper bag for a few more days until ripe. The ripening process can be fast or slow depending on the type of fruit and how much ethylene gas is being released. Each fruit releases varying levels of ethylene gas, but it will be pretty close to a uniform ripeness. A good ratio to go by is 2 to 1. Add two additional fruit in the paper bag to each one fruit you are aiming to speed up the ripening process on. This will increase the ethylene gas production. You can also put the bag of fruit near a sunny windowsill or a warm spot in the kitchen because the warm temperature will help the fruit ripen fast. If you don't have a paper bag, you can use a plastic bag, but make sure to closely monitor it because plastic bags trap in moisture that will cause the fruit to rot before it properly ripens. You can cut a couple of small holes in the plastic bag or not tie and seal the bag too tight 
to allow for a good circulation of airflow and oxygen into the bag. If you don't have either a paper bag or plastic bag, you can loosely wrap your fruit in newspaper or paper for the same effect. Don't let the fruit sit for too long to where it becomes overripe and starts to decay. This will attract fruit flies that feast on fermenting and decaying fruits and vegetables, or anything sugary. Fruit flies like to lay their eggs on the surface or inside overripe, rotting, or decaying fruits and vegetables. Female flies can lay up to 500 eggs at a time. You can check your fruit every day while they are in the bag, so you can get your desired ripeness without the fruit overripening or decaying. The persimmons in the paper bag were way more ripe and sweet, so use this experiment to ripen fruit faster.